Hi, I'm Ron Pars from Parpools.com, and today I want to talk to you about spa and hot tub biofilms, spa mold, and a problem that we sometimes see called pink slime. These are some, some more serious problems, but they're becoming more widespread as people have more spas, and, and we're also dealing with certain environmental issues. Before we get, get into the meat of, of, the, of this whole matter, I want to just tell you that the bulk of spa mold problems and biofilms, they are not necessarily caused by anything you as a consumer or a spa owner do. These are normally occurring environmental problems. And what we need to do is just keep them under control. And a lot of these issues we can actually prevent and remove. And we're going to take a look at that. As you can see in this graphic, there are five stages to biofilm growth. There's attachment, there's colonization, protection, growth, and distribution. If you'd like to learn more about how all of these stages work, I would encourage you to visit, visit our, our video on biofilms in swing pools. That will give you a, a much more detailed look. But as we talk about spas and hot tubs, we want to talk about more of the idea of where the bacteria is in your spa. When we talk about biofilms, we talk about films that are on spa and hot tub surfaces. So whether it is inside the, the spa shell, or behind the pillow, or mostly inside of, of the plumbing lines, you want to deal with that. And the reason why you want to deal with that biofilm is because up to 99% of all the bacteria in your, in your spa's water is contained in that biofilm. And so by getting rid of that, you are going to be using much less chlorine, bromine, or whatever sanitizing system that you happen to be using. When we talk about a spa and hot tub, we also have to remember that the, that the rate of growth of bacteria in a spa or hot tub is significantly different than in a swimming pool. In fact, at 102 degrees, which is a, a typical water temperature for a spa or hot tub, your bacteria is actually growing two times as fast as, as it would be in a swimming pool at 85 degrees. So you want to keep control of that bacteria. One thing that we know is that, that biofilms will lead to problems such as spa mold and pink slime. And spa mold, it can be, it, it, what, can, what it can look like is, it looks like tissue paper that's just floating around in your spa. It just comes off. When you see that in your spa, you know that, that your lines are pretty well filled. And so by, by purging the spa and getting rid of that, you can, you can get rid of that. But what you want to do afterwards is control it. We want to control all this bacteria because it can lead to other health issues. And these health is issues would be skin rashes, for example. Many people come into the, have come into our store over the years and, and they are um, mentioning that they have a rash under their arms and their armpits and across their back or, or on the backs of their, of their thighs. And they think it's an allergic reaction to chlorine or bromine. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. When you're sitting in a spa and you have your arms out and you have your, have your arms resting on top of the spa, your arms are actually resting on that biofilm that contains all the bacteria. And you're having a reaction to that bacteria. When we talk about bacteria that is floating around and then breaks off from those, from those biofilms, that bacteria can then be aerosolized and it's misted up into the, into the air. So as you're sitting in your tub and you have all the air jets on, you are just breathing in that bacteria. When that is found in a, in a uh, in an enclosed area, in a, in a small room, let's say, you can, you can develop a problem that's called hot tub lung. And that, so we want to avoid all of this stuff. As we talked about in a couple of the other videos, remember that 
the average spa has about a hundred lineal feet of, of piping. That's a lot of piping. That is equivalent to what is found in many in-ground pools. So you want to deal with that. You want to take care of that. Sometimes if you find, if you're doing cleaning, you may see a little bit of pink or pinky orange stuff that's growing around the jets. That's pink slime. That needs to be physically removed by either wiping or brushing. Again, we can control a lot of these things, and I'll show you that in just a couple of minutes. But before we get there, we have to remember that biofilms, spa mold or white water mold, and pink slime are incredibly resistant to chlorine, bromine, and most other spa sanitizing chemicals. In fact, if anything, the biofilms will actually absorb those chemicals into its body. And then, you, so you can't kill it. You have to remove it. And we remove it by purging. We can also remove it on a continual basis by using enzymes. We can also use products such as Aquafin S, which is really one of the few chemicals out there which will, which will continually remove biofilms from all surfaces of the spa. If you happen to live in an area where you have a high water hardness, you want to keep it, keep an eye on that because what will happen is the, the the biofilms can attract and bring in some of that some of that excess minerals into the into the biofilm, and that contributes to scaling. And you don't want scaling of, of your spa because number one, it looks bad, but number two, when you have a lot of scaling on your spa's heater, it's now going to cost you significantly more to heat that water, whereas if you were continually removing the scale, which is part of the biofilm. As we said, we can, we can take care of many spa issues with simple and easy to use products. We mentioned uh, enzymes. A great enzyme is naturally spa pure. And that is, that is, it's a great enzyme. It eats up removed biofilms and other organic contaminants. Aquafines is terrific. It is, it is one of the few products out there that will strip the, the, the biofilms off of the plumbing, off of the spa surfaces. It will help to remove scaling that you, that you see. And over a, a long period of time, you just get a good, nice and easy, easy to balance and easy to maintain spa. As you're removing biofilms, remember that those those removed biofilms, those are going to be trapped onto your filter. So you want to make sure that you rinse that filter and then chemically clean it about every six weeks or so to take care of that. In a nutshell, that's what, what you need to know about biofilms and spa mold and pink slime. For further information, you can visit our website at parpools.com forward slash spa mold. If you have any further questions, you can also email me at techhelp at parpools.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy your spa, and thanks for watching.